Hey, welcome to another Bampai video and my name is Art and today we have another manga reading video and for those that are not familiar with manga reading, manga reading in uh, my series is basically reading some manga and looking for cars and trying to identify them. That may sound exciting to you if you are into cars, you may not be excited by it if you're not into cars. If you are not into cars, well, probably you don't find this manga exciting at all because this is Shakatan Boogie. Shakatan Boogie is basically about Zokusha. Um, this is kind of uh, uh, a reflection of what happened in the 80s, uh, well, late 70s, 80s and early 90s in car culture in Japan. And this is what kids were into before actually uh, being into drifting. Shakatan Boogie started, I think, around uh, mid-80s, I think around 86 or something. And cars were really cheap back then because there was a bubble economy and uh, old cars were dumped. So these youngsters were able to buy expensive cars, modify them and make them their own stuff. I'm not going into uh, full depth about what Shakatan Boogie's storyline is, I'm just going through the story went briefly and then show you the cars that are in here. So to kick off we will uh, start with the introduction and this is like to be honest not that well uh, drawn but you know this manga artist just started with a new series he's still finding uh, what style he has to draw it and it gets better over time. Um, we start with the two main characters that Hajime Yamamoto and Koji Watanabe and Koji is the one without a license and Hajime is the one with a license and uh, uh, yeah basically Hajime uh, he owns this Toyota Soar MZ11 uh, which is basically the 5M GEU engine so that's a 2.8 so it's 2800 GT. Uh, rims look like SSR Mark IIs and they will change over time. Uh, not a big picture of the car, uh, not that well drawn, it will get better. These are all the other characters. Uh, these two girls, they're dating uh, Hajime and Koji. Um, some badass guys, some uh, mechanic, but we'll get into that when we reach their cars. So uh, these two guys are still uh, attending high school, but they have a driving license and uh, yeah, they basically try to date the two girls and that's what most of these stories are all about. Um, trying to date girls, get, the girls get stolen by some other dudes in uh, better cars. Uh, yeah, that's mostly the storyline. Uh, the second most famous car is this Yankee made Nissan Fair Lady Z, an S30. And this S30 has a G note, or uh, it's not entirely sure whether it's an original ZG, but it has a G note. And it's got uh, SSR Mark IIs, or maybe Speedstar F2, F4, I'm not entirely sure about that, but it will change later on. Uh, according to some sources, the, the engines got uh, a tuned L28, but we'll see that later as well. Uh, oh, and before I forget, the owner is Akira Shinizu. Um, yeah, basically he's stealing their girls. Uh, they're trying to chase them down and then run into some Bozozoku, and then the Bozozoku start to following them. And that might sound weird to you if you're not entirely familiar with the term Bozozoku. Bozozoku are basically the gangs on the bikes and Bozozoku style is something that's made up. It's not Japanese, it's a made up name and I'm in depth of that uh, for some part. Um, but, uh, you know, they're not the same. And these guys are more into Zokusha, so the gang cars, the Shakotan cars extremely lowered cars, wide wheels, big fenders and that's basically what this is about and it's not about these guys, the Bozozoku on those bikes. Um, I highlighted this because they have like this really 80s tape and that's amazing because you basically had the tape deck in the Soar and this is like the bone stock audio of the Soar which is quite impressive tape deck to be honest. Uh, there is some weird stuff going on with, uh, between them and the girls. They insult them, they try to kiss them and they don't want that. And then there are some uh, uh, you know, Yakuza guys trying to 
hijack those girls. I'm not sure what their plans are, but they're up to no good. Uh, they're trying to flee away here in a car that looks like an Isuzu Gemini PF50, uh, but that's a bit weird because when they chase them down, they're actually driving a Mercedes Benz W126. Uh, they ram into their car, uh, wrecking their own car. Uh, the car, uh, yeah, it, uh, it's, it's broken and uh, the girls escape and they are being shoved into a taxi or being left behind with a taxi. Taxi is a Nissan Laurel Taxi C32. Um, yeah, uh, every now and then there is like a page with uh, some uh, grainy photographs and some writing. This is a TE27 and an SR311. TE27 is, uh, uh, I think, either 11 or a Trueno. And the uh, SR311 is the old Fair Lady, so that's before the Fair Lady Z. And I think that this is basically reader photos or friends of the manga artist. Uh, a bit nicer uh, uh, drawing of uh, the sore. So this is the second chapter. The second chapter is uh, still revolving around uh, the two guys trying to date girls. Uh, and from on here onwards you can see that the rims have changed from SSR Mark II or Mark II lookalikes to SSR Mark I, so they're a single dish. And that's a bit clearer in a couple of pages. Yes, here you can see that they switched. Um, yeah, basically the, the girls are being uh, stolen again and they, they start chasing each other. It's just not a great storyline to be honest but yeah if, if someone uh, has another opinion of course you are more than welcome uh, he tries to show off his uh, awesome uh, uh, l28 in here um, they get into some discussion with the guy they're trying to uh, do a race about the girls and then more Bozozoku arrive, but just in the nick of time. This guy arrives, Junichi Nomura, and Junichi is uh, their friend, he's their mechanic, and he owns a Nissan Skyline 20, 2000 GT KGC10. And the KGC10 is not a, uh, it's not a GTR. In some sources, it's being credited as a GTR, but it's not. Um, also, he has an L28 engine in it, bored and stroked up to 3.1 liters. That's a, a very popular mod. Uh, wheels are SSR Mark 1s here, but they change every now and then. Uh, being their mechanic, he obviously has heaps of rims, I would guess. More reader photos. Uh, Isuzu 117 Coupe. Uh, third story, third story is like uh, with some car parade, car parade has a Nissan Skyline C10 coupe, you can see it here with the C pillar or B pillar, depends on your definition, this is a hard top so it's got like oh, two pillars, so the B pillar has like this small cap on it that's famous for the C10 coupe and the C110 coupe as well. Uh, the Skyline underneath that, that's a 210. And continuing down here, they end up with some guy, also a badass guy, with a Chevrolet Camaro. And it's a 1972 model, I think. It could also be a 1973, but yeah, that's depending on your definition. Uh, probably it's SS350 uh, or SS395. That's the cubic inches, I guess. Um, yeah, they, uh, he, he steals one of their girls, they start to chase him, blah, 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 same storyline all along. And then we end up at some gas station, and at the gas station there's a car that looks like a Cresta GX51. So it could be Shinichi's Cresta, he gets the introduction later. Uh, but it's got a Skyline C110 taillights. Also note that he uh, has side exhausts. So, yeah, more chasing, more 
of the same. They finally catch up with this guy and they, uh, you know, <laughs> give him the proper treatment. Um, then we have more reader pictures. Uh, Nissan Fair Lady 300Z. X, uh, sorry, uh, 300ZX, and then uh, Mazda Luce, I think. Or here in Europe, it was like the 929 Coupe. Pretty awesome machine, but in Europe, we got like the piston engine, and this has got the uh, Wankel engine. Uh, another story, that's the fourth story. And in the fourth story, we start off with a Daihatsu Hijet, Hijet S76. So that's basically the hauler, probably for this mechanic. And he's switching the wheels for probably SSR Mark 1s. Um, here we see a truck, a Isuzu Forward, not much to say about that. Uh, and then apparently these two guys uh, they start to work in a bar and uh, they get into a fight with some guys probably over girls and they flee away in their car and then uh, later that night uh, they return this guy is upset and starts off the fire alarm and the fire alarm goes off and of course the fire brigade arrives in a fire truck and he zoos forward and they get all hosed down they get wet and he gets a kiss and that's basically it and the other guy gets really upset about that um, yeah what else what else do we have? A uh, new story, this time with a Nissan Fair Lady Z. It's a 2 plus 2 model, so that means that it's uh, uh, slightly longer. And it's a Z31. Um, looks a bit odd on those drawings, but it gets better later. Uh, at the same time, this uh, uh, Junichi is uh, dating some one of their girls. And uh, she takes a ride with him and yeah, they arrive at the gas station and he wants to take a leak but then he gets too involved with this other girl and they start to kiss and then the other one gets upset leaving him behind joining the, our heroes um, and then out of nowhere there's another race with a Mazda Safana RX-3 outside Japan it's known as RX-3 it's the S124, so it's a Series 3, and it's got a side exhaust. Pretty exciting car. Um, yeah, more racing, and that's basically the end of the story. Because then in the next story, it continues with the race, and then uh, the Z31 crashes into uh, something like a tree or something, I'm not sure. Uh, and the same goes for the S30, makes a 180. So yeah, those guys are really pissed off now that they uh, kind of wrecked their Z31 and they tried to chase them down the mountain. And then uh, during the mountain chase, they almost ran into Junichi's uh, Nissan Skyline. And uh, the, yeah, he uh, barely avoids them and then starts to drive behind them as well. It's trying to chase them as well. So the, the Z31 is still chasing them. And this is getting really exciting with more and more Zokusha joining in into the race. And finally the C31 gets shaken off by Junichi. And yeah, in, in the kind of the heat of the moment they lose control of the Soarer. Uh, when he and this girl are seeing each other again and they ran off the mountain with the Soar. Soar manages to survive in this swamp, I guess it's a bit of a swamp. Um, Junichi, uh, uh, yeah, he uh, fetches the girl, he's being a gentleman, and uh, offers her to uh, sit on his shoulder and, and uh, yeah, go back again. Uh, here we kind of enter the final part of the manga where I think this is another chapter because here it says like end. 
Uh, they meet up with this guy, he's another badass guy, it's uh, Shinichi Komazaki, and Komazaki is uh, owning a Cresta GX51, and it's a really, really, <laughs> you know, fender flares, um, side skirts, enormous uh, front spoiler, this is like the typical Zopusha. Um, yeah, this uh, uh, Cresta has a work equipped negative 4H rims. Some sources uh, say that they are actually uh, Hoshino Impulse, but they are, aren't. There are one piece of rims and you can see that they are slanted and are not straight. Uh, those, um, those wheel nuts are also visible and with Hoshino Impulse those are recessed inside those black areas. So it's definitely uh, work equipped negative. Um, yeah, in the final part, there are no more additional cars that we can identify, but the storyline is a bit funny. This guy is trying to, uh, you know, be not that nice to the girls. He's uh, really eager to uh, uh, get in their pants or something. And they are in this bowling alley and everything starts to uh, kind of uh, go weird and they throw something at, at the light, the light goes out and they pull down the pants of this guy and this has been blocked off already in Japan so yeah it's a bit weird that uh, it's censored. Uh, anyway this guy he uh, finally gets caught by the police and uh, you know he, uh, it's the end of the story and that's also the end of this video. Um, yeah, I, I can't show you more of Shakatan Boogie number one because those are all the cars in there. There were one or two cars that I couldn't identify, but those weren't that interesting to show you either. So for next video, my plan is to do Overref, um, the, the first uh, Overref manga. Uh, maybe after that, I'll return back to Shakatan Boogie. Let me know if you would like to see Shakatan Boogie second chapter as well. And for now, thank you for watching and hope to see you next time.